let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I want to do is walk you through the project properties. The project properties are what we use to set up the segment labels and metadata for our project. Segment labels are used to define the areas within a capture that you're interested in. For this project, we set up examples for cross and punch, since we're interested in identifying gestures. And we also add the label no punch, which is used to identify negative examples. Metadata are used to identify the environment or context that a capture was recorded in. We created a number for this project. One example is dominant hand. We use dominant hand to specify the type of uh, handedness that a subject has, whether it's ambidextrous, left or right handed. While you're capturing data, you can specify the metadata and it'll be associated with that capture as it's collected. Next, let's go ahead and look at the Project Explorer. The Project Explorer is used to see all of the captures within your project. You can see the status of it, whether it's synced to the cloud, the file name, the number of segments, and all of the metadata that's associated with it. You can also come here to edit the metadata for any of your captures. Simply select it, right-click, and say Edit Metadata. This will bring up a window where you can come in and update any of the metadata. For example, we'll change the dominant hand here by clicking on the menu, selecting a new, coming down and saying done to save this. This will save the changes that you make to the cloud and sync it across all of your projects. If you want to edit multiple metadata at the same time, all you need to do is hit shift click to select multiple, click edit metadata, then you can come in and update all of the metadata for those files at the same time. Let's go ahead and open up the Project Explorer and then select one of the files to look at. So we're going to open up this file and what we see here is the time series sensor data. So on the top we have the accelerometer data and on the bottom the gyroscope data. And on the right we have a video which is synced up to the time series sensor data. Now when you think about labeling data, for images you can look at the image and put a bounding box or if you have audio data you can listen to the data and put it down. But for time series sensor data, unless you have a very good data collection methodology, it's very hard to know exactly what that data represents. So by using the video, we're able to very easily sync up with the time series data so that we can go through and label it very accurately later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the blue slider, and as I do that, you'll actually see the video moving with it. So I can hit play and see very clearly that this data right here is an overhand punch. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a marker down and that marker is going to go around the gesture that I'm interested in labeling. So at this point I haven't said what it is uh, and I'm going to go ahead and move the marker slightly just so I can make sure I get the gesture good. So you can move it as a whole or you can move the individual bars. And then I'm going to go through and I'm going to say okay this is uh, overhand and I'm going to hit done and save that. So now I've labeled this data and I've created the ground truth for it. We're going to advance the video and we can see that the next gestures that I'm doing are the same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and put markers down around all of these, select label multiple segments, right click and drag, and then this is going to let me label multiple of these at the exact same time. To save this, all I need to do is come up and click save and now this data is synced between this project and the cloud and I can use it to start training models on. So you can see it's very easy to use the video to label your sensor data.